Hey guys, happy Saturday. It is a super beautiful fall day. I'm wearing my fall lipstick. Oh my butt, it's 90 degrees. Well, it still has the crisp. That's what's interesting about fall is that it can be really warm still, but there's some kind of crispness in the air still. So um, yeah, it definitely feels like fall. I'm wearing my fall outfit with my fall lips. Um, this is a lip color that um, is like, was out of my comfort zone. I call it sexy plum. Joe calls it sexy plum. Um, but I bought it and I have just been loving it. It's one of those lipsticks that when I put it on, I just feel like I can do anything. Lipstick does that for me. I'm gonna have a fall lipsticks video coming up and I'm sharing with you guys like all of my favorite fall lipsticks because I feel like um, during the fall, I definitely wear different lipsticks that I wouldn't wear any other time um, of the year and this is one of them. So we have a gift card to Crate and Barrel that we got for our anniversary um, f party from our friends. I don't know how to say that. Anywho, um, and we've never really been to Crate and Barrel. We're not Crate and Barrel people. Oh, yeah, we're, there. I don't know what they have. We're pottery barn people. But Crate and Barrel's like the kitchen gadget, I think. I think or that's... Pottery barn, isn't it? No, that's William and Sonoma. Mm, so I've never bought anything from there either. It's on my like bucket list. So, we are headed there and um, it's in the mall. So we're gonna go eat lunch somewhere in the mall area. Probably um, gonna be Cheesecake Factory. So yeah. I go to Cheesecake Factory for the omelets. That's right, it's weird, right? I go for the biscuits. Oh, I actually don't like their cheesecake. Uh, are you crazy? Like, I don't go there for the cheesecake. Whoa. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, so anywho, so that is what we're doing. And then we have some productive stuff that we have to do at home when we get home. <clears throat> so yeah, it's a really fun Saturday. Oh, it's T minus 30 to Joe's birthday. Joe's birthday what are you gonna get me for my is in one month from today. If you guys have any suggestions on what we should do for his birthday, yeah, seriously, please let I, us know. I want to go rent a Lamborghini. Because he's turning 30. Yeah, so I want to get something big. I want to rent a Lamborghini or Ferrari, or go rally driving in uh, New Hampshire, or go t dog fighting with little prop planes uh, in California. I don't know, like something really cool. Yeah, we've been trying to figure it out for a good few months, and um, you're, it's getting time. I know what I'm not doing. I'm not going to be lame and stay at home and have a cake, you know? Because you only turned 30 once. I would make you a really pretty cake, though. Yeah, I'm sure you would, but I want to. I want to do something memorable, like you know. Yeah, we have to figure it out. We have to figure it out soon because if we're going anywhere, we need to get plane tickets. Yeah, I might go back to New York and visit my family in upstate New York, which you know, that's nice. We did that on my 28th birthday, but there's not a lot you can do in. Because he lives in a very small town. Do you know what I should do? I should rent a car in New York City, drive up to my house, and then uh, that'd be cool. I would not mind going to New York City for your birthday, honey. New York City has my heart. I could do that again. And look how cute Brittany is today. She's so she's so fleek. I don't even know what that word means. I don't know why I said it. Who, who made up that stupid word? A YouTuber. One, two, three. Joe's yummy omelet with some ah, fries. <laughs> that was hot, dude. She told you that the plate was hot. I got the shepherd's pie. Pretty hot? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're vlogging in public. We're uh, in the mall. We're in the mall. We're vlogging in public. Yeah, it's weird. We're trying. We're trying so hard. I have a ghetto camera, so it's kind of weird. It was a good lunch, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to get me a coach bag? Hey. Which one would I prefer? Coach or Michael Kors? Coach. No, Michael Kors. I don't, I don't even know who that guy is. Are we even going the right way? Yeah. I was going to do it backwards with those people behind us. So that probably wouldn't be cool. We'll keep it off the screen. Boom, Green Barrel. Dang, this place is huge. That is like a little store. I like the roof. Oh, oak. Uh oh. 
cake stand. I don't know. You can also put cheese in it, muffins. You can put so much in it. You can be beautiful on the slide. Why, thank you. <laughs> What's that? For when I serve you breakfast in the morning? Yeah, you do. Oh, I do? You don't do that. Yeah, I do. When? I do it all the time. Well, That's I, a big tray. What kind of more. breakfast do you serve in lumberjack meals? You know what Watch I don't have? Okay, this is too much. No, it's not. It's not. You know what I don't have that I should have? What's that? Pink plates. Doesn't that seem like something I would own? Mm, maybe. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the fox. The fox painting. I want that. This is a large store. It is a large store. What is that? My bed tray? Yeah, a bed tray with scallops on it. You want the bed tray, honey, with scallops on it? Would it get annoying though if you had your laptop on it? Thank you. Yeah, you couldn't do that. Actually, it kind of offers like a rest. No, I think you get sick of it pretty quick. It's cute though. How much is that? How much do you think it is? $89. Yeah. It'd only be 10 though for us. Oh my gosh, in that way too. It's like the never ending story. Look, this is the bed tray in action. That's, that's the bed tray in action, honey. See how quaint that is? These are cute. They're like little pie dishes. And then this one looks like an apple. And then this one. So that'd be a cute set. Yeah. It'd be $60 for the pair. How much is that basket? I'll just take it. <laughs> <Good> price. <laughs> Joe just took the table this way. <laughs> He's so cute, I love him. I've always wanted one of these. They're kind of like the vintage um, popcorn maker. So I think you put it on your stove and then you turn it and it pops your popcorn. I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these. Eek, I'm so excited. Apparently they're supposed to have free popcorn inside. I grabbed one without the free popcorn. She's like, go get one with free popcorn. That was nice of her. Thank you, honey. That was fun, honey. It is not a day for a cardigan. What's the temperature outside? 90, told you. It's 90. I was gonna say, it feels like 90. Um, anywho, that was super fun. I think that we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I basically just have to go home and um, clean the house because we have people coming over tomorrow, do a whole bunch of stuff on the computer, and then we both have lessons to prepare for church tomorrow. So, um, yeah, thanks for coming along with us, guys. That was super fun. Hope that you guys had a great weekend, and we'll see you later. Bye. Okay. <laughs> we stopped for ice cream. <laughs> You did it right on cue, honey, without even <laughs> talking about it. Right, huh? Good job, honey.